Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I am so mad right now. Um, mad at myself. I I did something stupid and what I did is I was transferring my video from my camera to my computer and I ended up deleting everything. So I had, I don't know, eight videos on there, maybe more, I'm not really sure, but you know, it happens, there's nothing I can do about it. So this month for Gina Aaron's design team, I'm going to do this a little bit different. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I made. I made this um, using just a little silver tin that you can get like at Michael's or AC Moore or Joann's. It's just a silver. I think Art C is the company that sent it. You can use an Altoids tin. You can use, you know, any kind of, kind of candy tin, that kind of thing. I hot glued the lid so it stayed open. Um, and then I created this little like sea treasure chest. Okay. I'll just bring you in so you can see it. Um, I used all kinds of Gina's uh, stamps, which is, this is actually the stamp set that I used, which is her set 12. It's got the mermaid tail, which I used right here. It has, oh, hang on, the papers are cockeyed. Come on. I didn't put the words in it, the you, me, and the sea. Um, there we go. There we are. Uh, I used this little seaweed grass. I used the tiny seahorse, as you can see it in there. There's the little sea, whoops, up forward, <laughs> the little seahorse. And then I used the little turtle that I put on the back. Now, the other things that I had in here, um, I did this all primarily with a hot glue gun. This you see at the bottom. Let me bring you in so I don't have to keep lifting it up. All right. See this that you see down here at the bottom that's really colorful? Well, back when I was making the mermaid for um, the store here in Myrtle Beach, what I did is I took this cardboard, and it was just plain flat pieces of cardboard, and then I kind of crunched it up a little bit. I put a whole bunch of modeling paste on it, and then I let it dry. Once I did that, I took some just paints and played around with some paint and some metallics and some colors, and I just messed around with it right so this is on the mermaid that I actually took down to the store well I took a little piece of it and put it in here um, these are little pearls that my friend Vicki Brown had sent to me because I decided I wanted to make oysters and let me show you how I did the oysters see the little oyster in here what I did is I bought a bunch of, pe of uh, pistachios love pistachios and I sat here one night and I was, you know, peeling them and eating them and I thought, oh, they could make a great oyster shell. So what I did is I took my halves, I cleaned them up really well, and then I colored the inside of them with like a mother pearl paint, metallic paint. I glued a pearl in them and then I just glued two of the shells together. So I have these little oyster shells, right? So these are all over um, that mermaid that I took down uh, to scrapbooks by the sea. So these are the little oyster shells. So I had to put a couple of them in here. All right, so there's a couple of those in there. This purple, this is a flower that I found at the dollar store. Um, here's a piece of it that I just cut the little heads of it off and I stuck it in here as coral. On the top, I have a little bit of this fishnet. I'm pretty sure the dollar store a long time ago. So I put a little piece of that fishnet up on here. I've got some flat, just bubble-like things, some shells that are actually beads, and just some miniature shells. And a little sea uh, star, starfish. Boy, I can't think today. I'm just, I'm completely boggled on that whole mess. But yeah, so there's the little starfish, a little bit of pearls. And this is what I made for this month's prompt, which is ornate, imagine, and believe. And I just, you know, I was in that mood. I decided to do something a little bit different, and here it is. All right. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Oops, sorry. Bring out a little bit. Let me see if there's anything else in my little bucket here that I used. Um, no, I think that's about it. Just odds and ends. Oh, I did take a little gold. Um, this is just like a little uh, gold. Um, 
like a bead or a pendant and I put that in here and then I just took this little miniature seahorse and put him in here. All right. But I'm really sorry I didn't get a process video this month. I had it. It was all ready. I was getting ready to edit it and put it up and it's gone into Neverland. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this month. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Don't forget to check out the other artists in the description box below. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I will chat with you guys soon. Take care. Bye.